Hi, class. All right, I really miss you, but more importantly, we've got a story to read. So let's get started. Go ahead and look at section A. Guess what? None of these words are underlined words. That's going to make things so much easier. You ready? Okay. Column number one. First word, breath. What word? Second word, shriek. What word? Third word, leathery. What word? Fourth word, immediately. What word? Column two. First word, clearing. What word? Second word, dense. What word? Third word, driven. What word? Fourth word, practiced. What word? Fifth word, terrible. What word? Sixth word, terribly. What word? Column three. First word, sense. What word? Second word, pond. What word? Third word, club. What word? Fourth word, thick. What word? Fifth word, spread. What word? Sixth word, stared. What word? Column four. First word, groove. What word? Second word, grove. What word? Third word, steam. What word? Fourth word, stream. What word? Fifth word, tail. What word? And sixth word, trail. What word? All right, column four was super tricky, right? Groove and grove, steam and stream, tail and trail. They were trying to trick you up. There's a reason for it. But if you actually were tricked up, go back and try that a little bit again. Okay, move on to section B, bookmarks. I'm going to read and then I'll tell you what you read, how you read, it's gonna be a little bit different today. All right, footprints. There is a row of footprints in the red sand. The print footprints of the animal were a yard long. Each footprint had three toes. The size of the footprints told Edna something about the size of the animal. The footprints made very deep dents in the sand. These deep dents told Edna something about how much the animal weighed. Between the footprints was a deep groove in the sand. Carla asked, what can make that deep trail? Suddenly, Edna shouted, a tail! I bet a tail did that! That animal was walking on its hind legs! It's dragging a heavy tail behind it. The tail makes the groove in the sand. For a while, the girls walked around the footprints and didn't say anything. They looked toward the jungle. The animal had left a huge path through the jungle. On either side of this path were thick vines and trees. But the path was almost clear. It looked as if someone, somebody, sorry, it looked as if somebody had driven a truck through the jungle and knocked down all the small trees and vines. Edna said, I don't think we should go into that jungle. No, we shouldn't do it, Carla said. The girls were silent for a few moments. They just stood there and looked at the great path that led into the jungle. Then Carla said, but we could follow that path for a little way. We wouldn't have to go too far. I don't want to go in there. Edna said, but she wasn't telling Carla the truth. Part of her was frightened and wanted to run away, but part of her wanted to see what made those huge footprints. 
Her mind made pictures of that animal. In one of the pictures, the animal was chasing Carla and Edna. Edna was running as fast as she could, but the animal was getting closer and closer and... Come on, Carla said. Let's go just a little way. Now, another part of Edna's mind was taking over. It wanted to see that animal. This part of Edna's mind was not terribly frightened. It made up pictures of Carla and Edna sneaking up on the animal. In these pictures, the animal did not see Edna. Okay, I'm getting tired of these stars in the middle of sentences, not gonna lie. Here's what you're going to do. You see the flower up here? And the second flower down here? You've already read that section. You've heard me read it. Now, I need you to read that section aloud. You're going to read from one flower to the second flower, aloud, either to an adult who signs off that they heard you, or in a recording that you send to me. Once you've done that, then you can read to the end of this story, or this page of the story. If you have questions at the end of that, because I honestly can't remember if I recorded those pictures, or if I made copies of those pictures, and uh, questions or not, if you do, you need to answer the questions, and if you don't, hey, special little bonus treat. Just a heads up, there will be no Lesson 30. Lesson 30 is supposed to be a test, but I don't feel comfortable giving you guys a test without me. I hope you're okay skipping a test. Alright, I'll see you for Lesson 31.